Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? So, I am back with a different look from a new palette, and I figured that we go ahead and get started. As far as what I have on today, um, I didn't actually do any primers today. Just used the House Labs, um, and this is their Triclone Foundation in Fair Cool 50. So that's what I have on there. Um, I did go ahead and use the L'Oreal Lumi Bronze It, and this one is in light. And so this is uh, what I have on for bronzer today. And I did go ahead and use a couple of different blushes. I did go ahead and use the Beauty Pie. This is their Bear Blush. So that's what that one looks like. And it actually comes out to be more of a red. I know it kind of looks cranberry, but it really comes out to be more than a, or more of a red. And then just Cruisin' by ColourPop. So these are the two that I mixed today to go ahead and get the blush look. And as far as what I went ahead and used for highlighter, I did go ahead and mix that as well. So I've got the ELF Halo Glow uh, Beauty Wand in Rose Quartz on. And then I did go ahead and mix that with the um, Catrice Supreme Rose Beam. So these are the two as far as what I have on for highlighter. And um, as far as lips today, ColourPop, and this is Girl something or other. I'll have it down in the, it's one of the glowing lips. And so, yeah, it's a really pretty shade, really dark shade. And then I went ahead and paired it with the So Glassy Lip Gloss in Epiphany. So that's what I have on there. And yeah, it came out as a, yeah, a really dark, dark, dark rose kind of look. Maybe a burgundy look. Yeah, I think burgundy is probably a better description. And so uh, the Sakura um, Alter Ego palette, and um, they make inspired palettes. And this one is inspired by Natasha, Natasha Denona. And so... Um, this is the second look that I've gone ahead and done with this palette. I think it's really pretty. Um, did go ahead and start with this color on the inner corner. So from the bottom all the way up to the brow there. As far as what I did on the um, in the crease, I went ahead and used these two mattes in the crease. <clears throat> I did go ahead and use uh, this shimmer as well on the inner corner. Uh, then this color right on the brow bone as well. And a little bit of these two in the outer corner. So I really did use all the greens and then just uh, the one lone shimmer over here. So uh, that's uh, what I've got as far as the look today. And this is the way that it worked out. And then I have um, the usual suspects here, the um, Maybelline Sky High. And I did go ahead and mix that with the Essence Volume Stylist in the 18-hour wear. And the um, NYX Thick It Stick It in the Cool Ash Brown. So that's what I have on for my look today. Um, I'm finding that I'm just really enjoying this palette. It seems to be pretty much a standout palette. I mean, with these turquoise and mint greens and teal greens, uh, they tend to do that. I mean, they just bang them at everybody. Uh, these colors are really, really pretty. They're um, based on olive, so they give you much more of a uh, background kind of look. They don't, they're not browns that really stand out. Um, but the uh, cranberry and the rose colors and the pink, they're really pretty as well. So I'm really enjoying finding some different looks with this palette. And again, uh, that's what I have on right now. And I'm enjoying it quite a lot. And I think that with that, it's probably the end of the video. Oh, and as usual, I forgot something. So I did go ahead and use the MRIDE eyeliners as well. Um, on the bottom here, I used uh, this one.
from the inner corner to about midway and then this one about midway to the end there and so that's what I got as far as the out eye look and as you can tell I really like this look it's very um, it, it just kind of pops and it's very just a good look so anyway um, that's a video and um, I would definitely suggest going ahead and picking up this palette it's gorgeous and uh, thank you and have a great day bye